What's up everyone and welcome back for some more Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle and today we're going to be talking about how you can get your Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku up to SA10 without using any Elder Kai's. And this method's probably pretty well known, it's a hell of a lot of a grind, so you're going to have to be really committed to doing this. You're going to want to have to make sure that you have training items and awakening medals and everything that is going to be necessary for this grind to be successful. However, if you want to save some Elder Kai's, cut some corners here and there, and you are willing to put in the work, this pays off in the end. Trust me, I just did it. It's a lot, a lot of grinding, but it is worth it at the end of the day if you are willing to put the time in. Now, it is just as easy to use Elder Kai's, but obviously there are a lot of free-to-play players out there without ways to easily get them, and also even pay-to-play people who don't want to summon on banners to get Kai's just because that's not the most effective use of stones, especially if you are on a budget but also a pay-to-play player. So I'll put up some pictures on the screen to show you the steps that you need to go through, but basically you need to go in and you need to jump into an epic showdown. You need to go to the first stage on, I believe, normal, maybe, might be normal, might be different Z hard, I don't know. I will leave a note on screen verifying that either way, but you're going to go in, you're going to play the mission, and this is going to guarantee you a drop of our Goku, Tech R Goku. And from there, you are going to want to go and Dokkan Awaken that into a AGL Angel Goku base form. Now, this I believe is done through the... You have to have one of the Goku medal that can be obtained through various story stages. I'll leave a link below as to how to actually find Goku medals if you are short on those. And then you're going to need one of each of all of the Kai medals. Not Kabito, I don't believe, but you are going to need the other ones. I actually might be one of each. I will, again, leave a note and double verify as far as that goes. So that is what you're going to need for that. And then from there, that card Dokkan Awakens once again into Super Saiyan Goku Tech. Now this is done through the Super Saiyan Goku phase of an Epic Showdown, which is phase 2. I believe Z Hard can give you 1 to 2 of these. Not a very difficult event at all. It should be pretty easy. I believe it's actually classified as a beginner's event. So, from there, you're going to want to go into the Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku event. Or not Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku event, excuse me. The Super Saiyan 3 Goku event, Surpassing All which was originally used for the AGL and Strength Super Saiyan 3 Goku cards from way back when. You're going to want to play that three times, and you will be able from there to Dokkan Awaken the Tech Super Saiyan Goku into a Tech Super Saiyan Angel Goku. And then, finally, from there, you can Dokkan Awaken that Super Saiyan Angel Goku into Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku TUR form. From there, you will get one free level up of Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku's Super Attack. So just for an example, we'll load into training right here. We'll show you I have Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku readily available right here. And as you can see, I'll unlock one of these very quickly. This will give you plus one to Super Attack. As you can see right there, Super Attack level will go plus one and it will go up to two. You are going to want to do this nine times. I'll show you very quickly what this does is every single one of these will guarantee a super attack up by one so let's quickly unlock all of these that I have farmed up you only obviously will be able to do this for five to begin with and then you'll have to come back and do the other four but this is a free way to get your angel Goku from SA1 to SA10 without spending any Elder Kai's without spending any extra stones or anything like that. Completely organic. It is going to cost you Zenny training items and awakening medals. But at the end of the day, I would say that is a pretty fair price, all things considered. Considering how this is a free SA1 to SA10. You don't really even have to put any effort in. So as you can see, I'm up to SA6. I just fed in 5. We'll quickly do the other 4 just to show you guys really quick that this will get him all the way to max obviously when I did nine and now I actually have to go back and play the event the necessary 11 times to Dokkan Awaken this Goku once again for the video that I'll be doing tomorrow so we will feed those in and as you can see from this screen with great success Bam, super attack level up. As you can see, it says 10 out of 10 next to super attack level. Super attack level max has been reached. 
So there you go, guys. Just a quick little tutorial. You are going to want to do this process that I showed you guys nine times to be able to do it. So that requires you to farm out nine different versions of this card and farm it up. A very menacing farm and a farm that not a lot of people will be willing to do. However, if you're short on Kai's, if you're just trying to cut some corners, if you're a free-to-play player and you don't want to spend stones on Kai's, if you're a pay-to-play player and you don't want to spend stones on Kai's because you're on a budget or anything like that, if you're just running low, a lot of people are running low. I'm not one of them, thankfully, but a lot of people don't tend to just hoard Kai's like I do. This is a very, very good method of being able to do this. I'm glad that grinds like this are available to those who are willing to do them. So that does it for this little video thank you guys for watching hope you enjoyed stay tuned for more dragon ball z dokkan battle